Hello, welcome to Advanced JavaScript Tutorial, Chapter 15, JavaScript Inheritance, brought to you by Anglo Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about the inheritance in JavaScript and it is also one of the usage of prototype. So, inheritance is an important concept in object-oriented programming language. Okay, but in JavaScript, how can we achieve the inheritance? It's very simple. We can achieve inheritance with the help of prototype object. So people call it as prototypal inheritance or some people may call it as behavior delegation also. So here is the code snippet. Let me explain you this. I have a function person. Okay, and to this function person, I have two properties first name and last name and this function person it takes two parameters first name and last name so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to attach these parameters value to the respective properties first name and last name okay and in my eighth line what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to attach a new property that is get full name with the help of prototype but to this get pro get full name property I've attached a function so this property will become function expression so what is this function is returning this is returning the first name and last name properties value respectively so this is the meaning of this code snippet present here now what I what I need to do is I need to inherit this function or this person class to a, another class called student so how can we achieve that inheritance in the earlier sessions we have seen like how to achieve the class functionality in JavaScript so what I'm trying to do here is we want to create student class that inherit is from person class so that we don't have to redefine the entire first name last name and get full name method again in the student class so how can we achieve that type of inheritance in JavaScript it's with the help of prototype object so you can observe very clearly from this code snippet I have a function student and I have four parameters first name and last name school name and grade okay how can I call how can I inherit the person class to the student class it's very simple I have to call the person okay dot notation then I have to call this call method within that I have specify this keyword and I have to pass the parameters or the property uh, parameters which I'm going to inherit they are first name and last name you can observe very clearly okay and the school name and grade they are the independent properties of this student so you can observe very clearly I'm having two properties school name and grade and I'm attaching the respective parameters to the properties respectively to attach to get the values to them okay now what I'm trying to do is now I'm trying to achieve um, the concept of inheritance it's very simple okay you can observe here or please note that we have a student prototype to a newly created person object I repeat we have a student prototype to a newly created person object okay the new keyword what it does is the new keyword it creates an object of a person class okay and also assigns person dot prototype to new okay new objects prototype object okay and then finally assigns the newly created object to a student prototype okay and this is how we can achieve the concept of inheritance in JavaScript okay now let me show you a demo of this here is the complete snippet like I have a function person okay and I have a function student now I am inheriting this person to the student okay I have to call this person dot call method and the respective parameters which I'm going to inherit to the student okay then I'm, I have to attach or I'm going to create a person object attached to the student dot prototype okay and this is how I can achieve okay the concept of inheritance in JavaScript so let me go back go to my Visual Studio code and let me show you the inheritance concept it's very simple let me take a script tag within the script tag let me create first a function let me call that function name as person okay that function I'll pass parameters so let me take the perfect example present here it's first name and last name okay it's first name and the other parameter is last name okay then okay let me go here let me check out the two other two parameters they are also the first name and last name so I'd use this keyword first name and I'll assign that first name parameter to it 
and again I have to take this keyword then I have to create another okay then it's function person first name last name first name last name I'm attaching here so what do I do next it's very simple so I'll go back here okay now I have to add a new method called get full name with the help of this prototype and this is going to return the first name and last name of the person of the function person so let me go and do it so I have to call that person dot prototype dot so I have to attach this get get full name get full name is a property to that I'm going to attach a function what is this function going to return this function is going to return this dot first name and this dot last name so I'm having a function person with three properties first name last name and get full name the get full name is a function expression which returns the first name and last name properties values okay now what I'll do is I'll create another student function and this student let me take it as a class let the student is going to inherit the person so I want to create this first name I need to create the properties last name then it is so let me go and check like what they have given exactly school name and it's grade okay here what I need to do is I need to define the properties for the independent properties of student they are school name and I have to attach the respective parameters okay similarly this dot uh, it's grade fine so what I'll do here is I want to inherit the person to the student so what I need to, need to do is I need to call the person then the call method Within that call method I have to specify which properties I am going to inherit from the person that is this keyword okay and the properties are first name and the last name so I am going to inherit this parameters itself so let me first name and let me copy and paste just to save the time fine okay now what I've done is I've inherited the person to the student class so and it's having these properties okay and now let me give a semicolon at the end okay now I have to make the concept of inheritance work in JavaScript it's very simple what I need to do is I need to create person object attached to this student prototype so it's very simple what I'll do is student dot prototype proto type is equal to okay now student dot prototype is equal to I have to create object of the person because I have inherited that one to the student okay now student dot prototype Then I have to call the constructor net is equal to I have called the constructor then I have to attach that student to this okay and now this student will be having all the properties okay 
which is inherited from the person as well as the independent property of student okay they are first name last name school name and grade now what I'll do is I'll create one object stu is equal to new student to this I'll pass the parameters now the first name last name as well as the first name I'll pass it as Sam the last name is Rick and the school name I'll give it as um, geek geek school and the grade I'll give it as a grade now I do control s okay what I need to do is I need to end up with a semicolon then I have to call that student dot get full name okay uh, I have to call it in the alert stu dot I have to call the get full name method okay now when I do this what I will get is the output as let us check it out so I have to navigate here when I double click on that let us see what is the output we are going to get okay we are going to get the SAM and ECK but where are the uh, school and grade values what we have done is we are just returning from that get full name only this first name and last name okay now what I need to do is I need to tell this get full name method to return the grade as well as the school okay how can I do that it's very simple what I'll do I'll just copy and paste this paste it here then I'll tell okay return the school name as well okay and the grade as well since I have inherited the person to the student okay now the person is also having the capacity to fetch the properties of the student class so this is how now when I go back and when I refresh okay we will get the values of the first name last name school as well as the grade okay first name is Sam last name is Eck and the school is geek school and the grade is A so let me make it uh, look more better by giving the space less let me go back and let me refresh here we got the output the name first name is Sam last name is heck and the school name is geek school and the grade is A okay what did we do is we just achieved the concept of inheritance okay okay let me show you the other way instead of uh, doing like this creating an object of a person we can achieve this in another way it's very simple what I need to do is I need to assign student prototype person prototype to student prototype that's it student prototype is equal to person dot prototype to control s I'll go back and I'll refresh you can observe we achieve the same thing like Sam X school and the grade is A okay I hope I hope you understood this what you are trying to do is optionally we can also assign the person prototype to a student prototype object that's what we have done instead of that we can uh, uh, create object of a person then we can uh, assign it to the student prototype object here directly what we are doing is we, we are assigning the person prototype object person prototype to a student prototype object okay this is how we can achieve the inheritance concept in JavaScript okay I hope you understood and that's for the day thank you for listening uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Lang Pro Training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference of our websites we are on LinkedIn too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day